Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I have to start off by saying go Wildcats. My cousin um, is playing basketball up in South Dakota. Um, if they win this game, they go on to the state tournament. So um, last I heard, they're winning at halftime. So I need to get this done so I can go um, follow the game. So <clears throat> again, go Wildcats. I hope Dalton's playing awesome. I'm sure he is. Um, so this week kind of goes along with last week. And um, I found this article. It's the only time you are actually growing is when you're uncomfortable. If everything is too good, you're probably stuck not being awesome. Don't join an easy crowd. You won't grow. Many people are so comfortable, they're miserable. Breaking a habit, trying something new, taking a risk, making new connections, or putting yourself in a totally new situation won't be easy, um, but it's worth it. It's exhausting but rewarding. Calvin Coolidge says, all growth depends upon activity. There is no development physically or intellectually without effort, and effort means work. And I should say... Um, I found this article, it's by Thomas Opong, I think. I'll post the link afterwards just to make sure that he gets credit for it. Comfort can lead to self-absorption, boredom, and discontent. You can either be comfortable and stagnate or stretch yourself, <clears throat> become uncomfortable and grow, choose the latter. Go where the demands are high, go where the pressure is to perform. Dr. Elizabeth Lombardo, psychologist and author of Better Than Perfect, says people who regularly seek out fresh experiences tend to be more creative and emotionally resilient than those who remain stuck in routine. Breaking your own mold can only make you stronger and more confident to reach higher levels in your professional and personal life, she says. To grow, you have to embrace the discomfort. The transition will be uncomfortable and scary, but that's the nature of the beast. Stretch yourself. You might just like what's possible. Um, and I am, it kind of reminds me back to when I first moved to Omaha. I was finishing up my master's degree. I was still um, trying to train for the Olympics, and I was working as a waitress, which was fine. I was making good money. I was having fun. I liked my coworkers. Um, I liked the people that came in to see me, all of it. Um, hey, Carrie. Oh, is Redfield playing tonight too? I saw that they're um, that they won their last game. So um, go Redfield too. Go Pheasants. I don't know if they're are they playing tonight, Carrie. Um, either way, whenever they do play, go Redfield. That's my hometown too. Um, so we want them to do well. That'd be cool to have both teams in the state tournament. Um, but anyway, when I was waitressing, finishing up my master's degree and and training um, for the Olympics. I just kind of got um, stuck there. I really liked it. It was great, but I had my master's degree, and um, that doesn't mean that you can't be a waitress. I'm not saying that, but I just, I kind of got stuck doing, um, I just got complacent, and, um, you know, all of a sudden, three years went by, and it was like, you know, am I going to use my master's degree or not? And And it was scary because I didn't know what I was going to do. I mean, I lived in Omaha for a few years, but I didn't know that many people at that point. I mean, I, I had a pretty good network, but not anything like now. And, um, it was really scary. And I just decided without having another job really lined up yet that I was going to put in my two weeks and figure it out. And luckily Garrett supported me in doing that. Um, excuse me. I put in my two weeks. Um, I started working at a gym Luckily, they gave me the opportunity to start working there, and then um, a few weeks later, I had applied to MCC, and now I've been at MCC for um, coming up on, what, like four years, and I've been promoted to five different jobs while I've been there, and um, it's just been great, but I had to get out of that comfort zone um, to go after that, and it, and it was scary and all that. Anyway, um, Peter McMillian. Peter McWilliams once said, comfort zones are most often expanded through discomfort. Discomfort is a catalyst for growth. It makes you yearn for something more. It forces you to change, stretch, and adapt. The secret to success lies in the very thing you're avoiding. Those things that seem to break you down and humble your spirit. Seek out discomfort. Be deliberate about doing things that push your limits magnificently. Difficulty helps you grow. Um, if you want long-term success, stop avoiding what's hard. If you're truly pushing yourself to improve in any ca any capacity whatsoever, you are uncomfortable. When you are challenged, you are asked to become more than you were. That means creating new perspectives, acquiring new skills, and pushing boundaries. In other words, you have to expand your understanding in order to be able to overcome the obstacles facing you. Um, if you master discomfort, you can master just about anything. Discomfort can be the joyful key that opens up everything for you. 
You can beat procrastination, start a new habit, learn a new language, make it through challenges and physically grueling events, explore new things, um, speak on a stage, and even embrace the minimalist lifestyle. If you're watching, go ahead and give me a hi. I, I appreciate the watches. Um, and if you're doing a replay, give me a, you know, a replay symbol so I know that you're watching it on replay. Um, discomfort is a catalyst for progress. Think of the mind as a muscle, muscle that naturally tightens up over time unless it is consciously worked upon. Your personal growth significantly depends on new challenges and activities. Tackle the fear that has kept you from living your best life. Your mind has a way of rising to the occasion. <clears throat> challenge it and it will reward you. Jerry Dunn once said, don't limit your challenges, challenge your limits. Challenge your mind, even making it a little uncomfortable by pushing yourself to learn tasks that may not come naturally. Most things seem impossible until they are done. Give yourself permission to think and act beyond the, the usual. Stepping up when it's annoying or painful or draining builds character. Be good at making time for what matters to you, especially when you don't feel like it. So, um, this week's challenge is to come up with something that you can get out of your comfort zone just for a little bit. Figure out something that um, maybe you've got complacent about and figure out how you can push yourself just a little bit more. Push yourself to to go after a goal or, or take a risk or um, or something, you know. Go for something. And, and being uncomfortable isn't necessarily a bad thing. So that's this week's challenge. Um, we're actually on month eight now, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, if you're going to give this a try, just, just try to think about something that you can go after, something that might make you a little bit uncomfortable that um, can lead you to something. Another thing that I thought of about this too is, um, so eight months ago I started this. I started doing this. And um, I don't know if you remember, but my first video that I did my first ever live I was like shaking I was nervous I said in the video that I was more nervous then than when I was throwing at the Olympic trials and I really didn't mean that I was I was super nervous and and I still get nervous when I get on but um it was something that you know I had been wanting to do you know leaders in my company talked about doing it and I was just like oh I don't know like that makes me nervous I I don't think I can do that and I don't know I just got a wild hair and just decided you know what the hell I'm just gonna do it and here we are eight months later, I've been doing it weekly, at least once a week for eight months. Um, so I got out of my comfort zone. It's helped grow my business. It's helped me um, just by doing personal development every week. I hope it's helping you. And so <clears throat> I appreciate everyone's support so much. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the shares. And just um, for those of you that might be new, if you wanna get entered in the drawing for um, a freebie, from me, you can share the video, um, but I want you to comment. Let me know um, that you're gonna go for this. Even if you just give me a thumbs up in the comment or a heart in the comment or um, a fingers crossed, like here we go, just just give me something. Let me know that we're working on this together and um, yeah, I think that's it. Go Wildcats, go Pheasants. I hope um, the boys play well tonight and I guess I will just see you next time. Have a good night.